Is here. Welcome, yeah. Joey. Oh, it's good to be back. You guys are going on tour, but you're not going on tour on your own. Who are you going on tour with? Uh, we're going on tour with uh, Debbie Harry and the Tom Tom Club and Jerry Harrison. All of whom are actually here tonight and we'll be talking with them. Does this tour have a name? Uh, well, a tentative name, Escape from New York, but... Uh, tentative name? Yeah. We're trying to find a name. Hopefully that will be the name, you know. But uh, I think it's going to be a really unique situation and uh, it's going to be really... Uh, it's a fresh idea, you know. You also have... Um some compilation records coming out, is that right? Tell us about that. Yeah, we have, um, well, everything is going to be reissued on CD, and it's going to be a two-for-one uh, package kind of thing, where Ramones and Ramones Leave Home will be um, two for the price of one, and then there'll be a disc with unreleased tracks uh, that have never been, uh, as early as 1974, that have never seen the light of day, uh, demos and uh, tracks that came out in Europe, America, and stuff like that. Uh, line of Notes by Oedipus, uh, program director from uh, BCN in Boston, and uh, rare photographs and booklets. It's going to be really cool. <laughs> a smorgasbord. A smorgasbord, right. right. A real, real buffet there. You also have a, a brand new video, I Believe in Miracles. Yeah. And uh, was this fun to shoot? Yeah, we did it with uh, George Seminara, who's done uh, a, lot of, a lot of more hardcore bands and things. And, um, it's a real unique um, premise. Uh, it's uh, something really, um, uh, you'll see it. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. The Ramones with I Believe in Miracles. No, no, no. 120 minutes, Joey Ramone, was shooting Pet Cemetery as intensely scary as the video itself? Scarier. Scarier still? Yeah, yeah. That was I still have those reoccurring nightmares from that day. You do? Yes. Are you getting therapy they, they for They shake me in my sleep. Psychotherapy, of course. Yes, of course. Now, that, that video... I think, I, I think everybody should have psychotherapy. You do? It would be a healthier world. Well, okay. Make a note of that. <laughs> Pet Cemetery, of course, the video was from the film Pet Cemetery, directed by Mary Lambert, who uh, also shot Debbie Harry's video, I Want That Man. That was did, a great... Did you like what she... Yes, the way she, did, she did a good job. She ought to do us. Who, Mary Lambert or yeah. Debbie Harry? Well, Mary Lambert. Let's, um, Debbie Harry is here, I believe. There she is. Oh, boy, there she is now. Hi, Hi. Debbie. Welcome to 120 Minutes. <laughs> hey, hey, Dave. <laughs> hey, you. Okay. Hi, Dave. Hey, Dave. Hi, Hi we Joey. Were just, we were just hey, talking Debbie. about, about <laughs> I Want That Man. <laughs> we were just talking about I Want That Man, and you have a new video, Sweet and Low, yeah. which we see on Club MTV all the time. Good. Good. So I guess this is your, your biggest success since Blondie. Is that right? Yes. Is it, is it all different the second time around? I don't know. I, I'm, I feel like I'm sort of starting all over again, which is a, sort of an odd feeling. It's like starting all over again and having a deja vu and, and also knowing what you're doing at the same time, which is most confusing, but who cares? Well, let's just take a look at the video. Here's Debbie Harry with Sweet and Low. Okay. It's 120 minutes. We're talking to Joey Ramone and Debbie Harry. You guys are going on tour together, and just how amazingly brilliant is it going to be? It's going to be great. It's the ultimate. It's the ultimate, you know, the ultimate summer fair, yeah. right? When did you guys first meet? Uh, when first Do you remember? Meet? Do we dare talk about it? Sure. Oh, you Sp forgot. Second. You forgot. You can, you, can, you, can spill <laughs> it. you can spill it there. Let's see. I think it was in a little place on 18th and between 18th and... On 18th Street, between Park and Broadway, there was this little place where everybody used to go to showcase. What was that place called? And that, I think that, that's where was we... Was that Mother's, that place? No, no. Okay. It was like a sound stage. It was a little studio. Oh, that was performance, right? Right, and yeah. I, that's where we met. And you fell down the stairs, and I picked uh, you up. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. That was very comforting. <laughs> that's a very romantic <laughs> beginning to yes, the whole yes, new wave yeah. scene. That's yeah. the way to start. You sort of leapt into my arms, you know, from about eight feet up there, you know. It's like... Hi! <laughs> Only someone was, got was, it on film. I was yeah. very excited. Yeah. Was there a rivalry back then between, between bands like Blondie and the Ramones? Uh, yeah, there was sort of like a, a, a good rivalry. It was a healthy competition. We didn't hate each other too much, and we didn't try to, uh, you know, wreck everybody else's equipment, except, you know, maybe just on Saturday night. That's the... And Sunday you'd fix it? Nah. 
Well, we'll be back with more of Joey Ramone and Debbie Harry. Tom Tom Club and Jerry Harrison are also here. Right now, they might be giants. A more recent New York band are on tour and opening up for them, a British band called the Jack Rubies. Here's the brand new video from the Jack Rubies. This is Book of Love. Welcome back to 120 Minutes. We're here with Debbie Harry and Joey Ramone. Back in the late 70s, who were the other big new wave bands? TV. Yeah. Um, Talking Dead. Heads. Talking Heads. Do you get on with... Do you, was there a rivalry Blimey. between you guys? Like, how do you get on with Talking Heads? Oh, we got on well with them. You know, they were fun. Yeah? They were good and psychotic. And how about... And you're going on tour with them? Yeah. This summer. Yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of fun. And in fact, not only you guys are here, but Jerry Harrison is here too. That's great. Wow. Thank you for Whoa. joining. Oh, Jerry. <laughs> I heard you say you were from Liverpool. Do you remember when we played uh, Eric's in right. Liverpool? Yeah, that was... It was this place that was across the street from the cavern. Right. It was supposed to be this, you know, the famous Beatles location. And it was the hottest... Oh, it thing. was I like... I thought uh, we were going to die. Because he... I saw the Dan that one. Stream, it was like one was streaming off Joey the ceiling. Joey is such a stalker. Yeah, he will always keep his jacket on no matter what. And everyone, we were all down like the t-shirts were just like, oh. Joey had his leather jacket on the whole time. And I remember coming in, it's like he was bright Well, red. you have to suffer for your art. It's you know? true. It's you do have to suffer you for do. your art. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, it's like we're recreating this first tour that we did. We, uh, the Talking Heads opened was, for was the Was Frank Ramones. Gallagher. <laughs> what year was that? 77. That was back in 77? Yeah. Well, you have your own band, uh, a Talking Heads spin-off band called The Casual Gods. That's right. I have a new record that just came out. That's called uh, Walk on Water. That's correct. Right? Is this a musical departure for you from the first album? Uh, I think it's kind of going in a similar direction. It's a little more rock and roll than the first album. I think that doing the tour and having Chris Bedding on stage with us the whole time, I always think this music kind of has this kind of rhythmic or funk underpinning, and then uh, on top of it there was like some sort of edge of guitars and there's a little more of that on the album. And you got a new video coming too? That's true. Here very soon. Yeah. But right now let's check out a video from the first Casual Gods album. This is Rev It Up. Uh, Debbie, Joey, marks out of ten? Marks out of ten for Jerry? Huh? Ma marks marks out, out, of out of ten? Oh, well, I'll have to give him the 10. Yes, of course. Thank you. But they're biased because they're going on tour together, and we're going to talk about that but and Jerry, lots more. But Jerry was in the um, Modern Lovers. That's a 10. That's a 10. <laughs> That's definitely a 10, yes. It's 10s all around. Mo lots, lots more of Jerry Harrison, Tom Tom Club, Debbie Harry, and Joey Ramone in the second 60th. <laughs> We've been joined by Tina Weymouth of Tom Tom Club, a member of the fourth band on this summer's Escape from New York tour. Tina, you don't have a new record coming out, right? That's correct. But you do, you do have a new home studio, you're telling me. Well, we're in the middle of building a, a studio because we just realized we're not a very commercial band and we can't afford to try to get the money back that we spend in a commercial studio by selling millions of records. And this is the perfect solution for us. It combines a little bit of the new technology. We've got uh, an Apple Macintosh uh, Performer 6.0.4. <laughs> that is the boy. Yeah, wow. So we've got one foot in that, in that area. We've got a 24-track um, with a tape machine, a la Daniel Lanois style. And, uh, and we like the, the sound of ensemble playing and then the option of having the, uh, the newer sequence stuff. So, so we're very excited about it. Plus, it opens up our options for producing other people, for doing very non-commercial things, just creating a happy atmosphere and, uh, and see what hits, you know. And, and we don't, that way, you don't have to worry about it. Then the studio is paid for with the price of one record, and you don't ever have to worry about kowtowing. Are you looking forward to going on tour My with these guys? My ears were burning before <laughs> you guys were talking about it. Oh, are you kidding? We, we have been fans forever. We kept telling our manager, you got to manage these guys. The Ramones are the, baddest, bi the baddest conceptual art band you ever heard. <laughs> they are unbelievable. And then, of course, you know, we all have been fans of Debbie forever. I mean, yeah. She is, yeah. mm, you know. Well, Debbie was really right when she said that there was this kind of healthy competition at CBGB's. I think that it was the last time in America there was a true underground in one city. 
And everyone who was there thought, every band here is better than the ones that make records. And every record company said, these bands are all terrible, forget about them. So for three years, everyone could grow without... And so there was like this kind of, you know, everyone was, were the, was the fans of each other and everyone helped each other. And everyone had their own vision. But the only thing that was similar is that everyone wanted short songs. At that time, people had really long, drawn-out, boring solos. That was thanks to Hilly Crystal. Yeah. He was always giving advice to the bands. You know, you should make your material sound different, one mm -hmm. song from the other. And Lou Reed would come in and say, keep those arms covered. you got to think about the fans looking at you. Yeah. Those I want to ask you guys <laughs> more about Those arms are a little too hairy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you guys more about that early, that early CB scene when we, when we come back. But right yeah. now, let's look at the very first Tom Tom Club video. This is Genius of Love. Back to 120 minutes, Tina Weymouth is here, Joey Ramone is here, Jerry Harrison is here, and Debbie Harry is here, and they're all going on tour this summer. Who's going to be headlining? Well, Me! <laughs> every night it'll be different. Well, right, fight it out right now. We're going to duke it out, you know. Yeah, every night it's, it's going to rotate, and every night everyone... You know, we don't want anybody to miss any part of the show, because the whole reason for this package is that we think that this is a great opportunity for the audience to see three bands for the price of one. This is the best package that's yeah. been around in years. It's also because we're friends that, and no one is the headliner. Everyone has equal access to the lights, equal access to the sound system. So often you see these packages, but the headliner goes, those guys are doing too well. Okay, they can only be this loud, so we're this much louder. They can't use these lights, so we seem brighter. Yeah, on this is the big this show approach. On this tour, it's, it's more like a little festival. Everyone is... Yeah. Equal. We yeah. want everybody to go like, like a, in a festival mood, like you're going to be in the best possible mood you can yeah. possibly be in, you know. That, that kind of vibe where the whole show from beginning to end is great. It's a lot of entertainment value. Yes, <laughs> yes for the money. And we're playing large uh, outdoor venues so that everybody can come. It's all ages. and It's all going to be outdoor venues? Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, for the most part. Right. As, as much as po there, There's right. these places called the sheds, mm -hmm. which have um, the roof over part of it, so in case it rains, everyone can crowd down in there. And then there's kind of a lawn behind them. But it's great. People can come with blankets and picnics and, you know. So it's more intimate. Everybody's in their various too. stages of undress because yes. it's summertime, so mm. it's very exciting, stimulating. The audience is just as good as the show. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's mm. going to be fun, yeah. It sounds like it, it might be worth a night out somehow. We'll be back with Gee, more thanks. of these guys. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. You might watch your show once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, we think everyone should we'll be back know with more of these guys right here. A new video from The Pursuit of Happiness, Two Girls in One. <laughs> Everything. Everything. In 20 minutes is with Tina Weymouth, Joey Ramone, Jerry Harrison, and Debbie Harry, the, hi, Dave. Uh, the, the Brady Bunch for hi, the 90s. Hi, Dave. Oh, hi, what, Dave. what made you guys decide to go on tour together? Whose idea was it? Well, it's our, our sick manager. <laughs> That's the wrong we answer. Were, You're supposed we to were say all ex <laughs> incredibly desperate together, and we, each one of us was sort of like trying to encourage the, the other band and saying, But you guys are great. How come you're having these difficulties? And he, we were all saying this to each other, and we said, What's the matter with us? We can do this together. Why not? <laughs> Part of us, we were thinking of going out with other people. And we thought, this is ridiculous. Why don't we go out with the people that have been our friends for years? Why don't we go you out know, with the people whose music we met, really like? Say, like? Let's open or let's play, do shows with people that you don't even know. And as I said before, this way, there's kind of a common spirit. I guess Debbie Blondie would have been called one of the first new wave bands and the Ramones would have been the first punk band. Do you feel musically compatible together? Yeah, well, I feel like we're all pioneers in, in our own respects, you know, I mean, like, um, Debbie kicked off, I mean, Madonna followed, you know what I mean? We kicked off the Sex Pistols, Metallica, Gun, Guns N' Roses, all those up-to-date followed, um, Talking Heads, Peter Gabriel, David Bowie, every, you know what I mean? It's, um, we all... We all really um, are unique in our, in, in our own. We're quirky. We're quirky. Well, I think that that's probably part of the confusion that, that always existed about the punk scene and, and the new wave scene. Um, musically, those are not really types of music, but they indicate a time period where you know different bands were making different statements, and they and they sort of held something in common, and that 
and that is that they were, they were doing something that was different than what was marketable. Yeah, yeah. We, did, we did what we really felt, and yeah. nowadays everything's a, f a fashion thing. It's like, I'm going to go blonde today, it, so, you know. Yeah. It was really Watch us it. against them. <laughs> you know, we were, it, we were we are all in the same boat together feeling like... <laughs> oh, so, sorry, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, At least you've we, always been blonde, though. We, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. We, were all, yeah. we were always feeling like um, all these bands in the 70s were like dinosaur rock shows. You know, mm. when rock and roll started, everybody played the clubs. There was none of this kind of arrogance going on. Uh, and, and we had a feeling that we wanted to get away from all of that thing. And, and we're, st we're still kind of there. Um, it's, it's very hard to um, really play anymore. Once you leave the clubs, there's nothing in between that and the big arenas. So for us to do it this way, at least you get three bands for the price of one band. And, it's, and, it, and it really has a sort of festival feeling instead of that kind of dinosaur rock thing. Or, and it's not a comeback because all of us have never stopped really. And now you're all going out on the road together. Here's a taste of concerts to come, the Ramones with something to believe in. Ramones going on tour with Debbie Harry, Tom Tom Club and Jerry Harrison this summer. When does that tour actually kick off? It's the 28th, June 28th, of June. yeah, June 28th. 28th of June. Yeah. Might be the 26th, they already canceled. Oh yeah? Details oh. to be found. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere around the 28th of June. Thanks very much for coming by, all you guys. Yeah, it's it's been we, real. We've multiplied. You have multiplied, yes. yeah. Marky Ramon standing behind Carla I, from I Debbie's band. I want to say hello to John. Hi, John. <laughs> John? Yeah, John. Is he from Brooklyn? He's our guitar player. Johnny. Johnny. All right. And Thanks very, very much very for us. Uh, and CJ. CJ, yeah. Yeah. Any others? We got half an hour. Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching 120 Minutes on MTV tonight. If you want to drop us a line, the address is 1775 Broadway, New York, New York 10019. And join us next Sunday night at 11.30. The Mission UK will be here. I'll also see you oh, tomorrow night, say hi to Thursday Didi. night. Say hi to Dee Dee, real fast. Hi Dee Dee. Hi Dee Dee. Hi Dee Dee. Uh, Keep writing songs. Keep writing those songs, Dee Dee. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow night through Thursday night at 1 a.m. on Postmodern MTV. And from all of us here, have a great night and a very good week. See ya.